One of the blood tests that's often performed after the completion of initial treatment of breast cancer is a tumor marker called CA15-3 or another name CA2729. This remains a, a fairly controversial issue as there can be false positives of the test. Many patients can have a mildly abnormal tumor marker and obviously at that point everyone is concerned about possible recurrence and this often leads to a multitude of tests that may or may not show a recurrence. If the test remains mildly abnormal and especially if it remains stable, one can be assured at some point that in fact there is not a recurrence. A rising tumor marker, however, over a period of three to six to nine months, generally would indicate that at some point there may be breast cancer tumor recurrence, and this often prompts obtaining various other blood tests and scans. The reason that this remains controversial is there's no evidence that picking up a breast cancer recurrence three to six months earlier by doing tumor marker testing leads to a better outcome than waiting for the symptoms of that recurrence to occur. The American Society of Clinical Oncology, in fact, has come out against routine tumor marker testing in follow-up of breast cancer, but there are still many medical oncologists that do these tests, and certainly occasionally one can pick up a recurrence early and get treatment started earlier, but unfortunately we don't have data that indicates that that ultimately affects the survival rate. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.